welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with us one big happy family thank you so much for all your beautiful comments your loving support always thank you from the bottom of my heart i'd like to mention if the video is too fast for you on any of them in the description box there's a link two minute video how to slow down the speed of the video and also to turn your closed caption on so the stitches i'm calling will be written down here you can pause read and take notes i don't write patterns i get asked that a lot for the most times i use 2.75 hooks depending upon the uh, thread i'm using 3 3.5 or the pattern that i want to create to go bigger or not and that's what you should do for people that have tight stitch use a size of hook bigger or two size bigger and for people that have a loose stitch you should go a little bit one or two size uh, smaller so a small one to tuck in loose ends and a pair of scissors i do have a private crochet uh, group that you're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile also follow me on my uh, crochet page on facebook instagram and TikTok. If you're stuck on any projects, you could always message me through there. I'd like to mention that uh, a lot of you sometimes ask me about my threads. Uh, these are Portugal threads. I am in Europe. They're four ply, 100% cotton thread, and they sell. Uh, it's twelve dollars, making the exchange twelve dollars, a hundred grams, which are balls like this. Okay, it's about uh, 300 to 325 uh, yards, uh, minimum of order of six balls. Okay, so uh, we're going to get started. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. It's free of charge. You don't pay for that, and it helps us create tremendously. And if you watch the video, and if you're not a creator um, or don't crochet, because I know some of you don't but love to watch my videos, please do give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important. And if there is short commercials, just watch the little small commercials. I don't want you to be wasting your time in five ten minute commercial but it does help the channel again itself okay so let's get started everyone thank you so much and for the women that have been donating uh for the women in need of thread thank you from the bottom of my heart and for your tips also thank you so much and for the ones that are considering to do so to help the women in need of thread please consider so my paypal account is in the description box also if you want to give it through there if you want to give it through the little a thank you bag underneath the video you can the only difference is that youtube takes 30 percent of that money that you're donating okay let's get started everyone okay everyone so a few days ago you guys for some of you of course that follow me uh, have seen that i had posted uh up on community the picture of this beautiful little flower and the tutorial is up already um i love this flower for the fact that it's a, it's a 3d obviously but it's not that high so it's just perfect okay these are eight millimeter um beads pearls that you can add to it or don't add to it it's up to you um, i have 16 of them that i have built with the granny square sort of thing because this will be added on to my pattern now this pattern i'm going to create it's similar to quite a few rugs and tablecloths that i have created in the past in the past um similar that means the beginning is exactly the same way uh, and you'll see as i create the uh the pattern uh the center it will be round, of course. This is perfect to be used either as a rug if you use thick thread, of course, um, and a centerpiece or a cloth. You can increase on it as many rows as you want. I'll be doing a centerpiece with the white. These will be added on, and I will be using also for my edge some yellow. I wish I had orange, but I don't. So... The yellow will be perfect because we have some yellow on here and whatever color you're using for it. Now, the, like I mentioned, the centerpiece itself, there's many out there similar exactly like I've created and I'm going to create. This specific pattern does not belong to me. 
uh, the because of the edging. The edging is completely different. It will take the crocodile stitch. A lot of you know what the crocodile stitch is, and some of you don't. And if you follow the tutorial, then you'll know. This is out of one of amazing, amazing creator herself, Vanessa Marcons. She is just mm, amazing Brazilian, of course. Um, she has created this in a rug a few years ago. And then she went uh, ahead and created a... Um, no, she created the rug, and someone else, uh, I guess that she follows or follows her, <clears throat> have created the uh, centerpiece. So, and she and th th that person modified the edging uh, to her, of course, liking to her own creation. And Vanessa absolutely loved, and I don't blame her because it's just absolutely stunning decided to do the centerpiece herself and named it after the other person that um, did the adjustment with the edging uh, around the centerpiece, which is stunning. So I will leave the link below to Vanessa's um, uh, YouTube uh, channel. You guys could always have a look at her stuff. We create a lot of things similar, if not alike. Uh, so you know, perhaps to her and to the other creator that I don't know who the other person is. Um, but amazing. I absolutely love Vanessa. She's just down to her beautiful person and does amazing, amazing work. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. And uh, I'll probably name this Vanessa because it is Vanessa's creation, even if even if the other one modified a bit of the edge. Still, the idea was her to and designed the whole uh, rug that she did for the living room uh, quite a few years back I think six seven years back if I'm not mistaken it's been a long time that uh, I follow her and uh, am, am, I am subscribed to her channel and uh, absolutely adore her okay so we're going to get started I'll be using the white like I said 2.75 hook of course if you're using into the rug then you will need to go with the uh, a thicker thread like let's say double up and Lydia number three and you would have to use like a 6.0 uh, hook so 275 small one to tuck in loose ends a pair of scissors and I will link the tutorial to the flower below if you're interested to create this flower if not you can create any other flower you want as long as it has eight loops in the back it's got to have those uh, three chain eight loops or four chain eight loops in order for you to create the granny square so we can add as we go uh, uh, towards the end of this uh, centerpiece okay thank you so much please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't subscribed please do so it helps the channel sharing is caring also and god bless let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is that magic circle in case you can't then you can do a five to six chain depending upon your stitch your tension if your tension is too tight, use a hook or two bigger. If it's too loose, use a hook or two smaller. So I did a chain just to secure that uh, magic circle. I came back in with a, a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to do 15 more. We'll have a total of 16 double crochets. Okay, so this is rule one. I'll meet you at the end. I've done my 16 double crochets. That's including with that single and two chain at the beginning. I'm going to tighten my circle. We don't want a big hole here. And I'm going to close in on my second chain from where I've started. I'm going to come back in and do a single in the same stitch. So I'm going to do another double crochet. And I'm most of the time start with single and two chain. Okay. On the next stitch the next double crochet we're going to add two together so and we're going to use back loops almost forgot that part you you ha you can use front loops i mean both together if you'd like this is just going to give it a nice little touch so two double crochets in the same space two chain space next stitch using back loops one double crochet on the next one 
to double crochet in the same stitch. So we're building these little groups of three. Now we're always going to increase. Next row we'll have four double crochets. Always increase on the last double crochet two together. Two chain again into the next double crochet into the next one two double crochets in the same space so creating those groups of three and most definitely I will have to do a part two video because there's a lot of details getting to the end of the centerpiece and you have to be extremely attention to it and I'm sure you're going to absolutely love it okay everyone so on this row two, you're supposed to have eight groups of three double crochet. I had mentioned that we're going to be having four double crochets in the next row. That's not true. We're having five. Uh, the increase is by two double crochets. But anyway, so I'm going to do a half double crochet here on the second chain from where I went up, single and two chain. And I'm going to close it together because I want to start my uh, third row here on the center. I'm going to come back in, I'm going to do a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm coming in the next double crochet with double crochet. So this is where my increase, and I'm grabbing back loops also. Okay, so we have three double crochet. That's already counting with the first one here. This is four and one inside of the two chain space. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to do two chain, of course. I'm going to come back in and do another double crochet. So I can start uh, the increase on uh, my next one. I'm going to grab back loops only. So two three, four, and five, one inside of the two chain space. So we have two, four, and five double crochets, two chain. We proceed this way all the way around. I'm going to do this uh, until I have seven rows. That means six rows of the increase, and this would be the seventh. So it's just this. We're going to keep doing this all the way around. You just have to remember that when you get to the end to do that half double crochet to end up on the center. And if you're not comfortable with it, then you can just close in with a slip stitch and do the walk. Like I usually mention on the videos, you can do the walk with a slip stitch until you get to the center and do your one double crochet. I think it's much easier to follow this way. So chain two come back inside and create your increase one double crochet so it's almost like we have a v in here grabbing back loops one two three with the one we did here is four and one inside of the two chain space okay so i'll meet you at the end again just to show you how i did the um half double crochet Okay, you guys, so pretty much finished my last group with the five double crochets. I'm going to do a half double crochet, okay, like that, and I'm right in the center again. So coming in with a single, two chain, that's my first double crochet. Going into the first double crochet with double crochet, I'm grabbing back loops just to get that uh, effect. I think it looks pretty nice, but like I mentioned, you can grab both loops if you'd like. And one inside of the two chain space. So now our increase is two, four, six, seven. So that means the next row you should have nine. So I'm going to do until we have seven rows. Okay, and come back to you at the end of it, because now it's just a repeat, an increase inside of the two chain at the beginning and at the end two chain space another double crochet to do your increase exactly how we've been doing on here okay so i'll meet you at the end of my rows okay everyone so i've done seven rows and on my seven rows i have 13 double crochet okay now it's going to change 
on the eighth row. So I'm going to come in again to close up and do my half double crochet. Going to come back in and create single two chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to come back in again. So where we have these two chain space, we're going to create a group of three double crochet. One chain. We're going to skip the first double crochet and come in the second. I'm going to grab back loops only. You can use both loops if you like. And on this row, we should have now, because we're going to start to decrease on these motives here, okay? So we don't do the first double crochet and we don't do the last. We should have 11 double crochets. But it's always going to be a repeat like this all the way around. There's no point of keep showing the same thing over and over. This is row eight. And hopefully my editing app doesn't chew any of my videos like it has on the last, or not the last one, not the flower one, but the other one before that. Okay. So we don't do the first double crochet and we don't do the last. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, one chain coming inside of the two chain space and create those three double crochets again. We're going to repeat this all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So we've reached the end. We're going to close in again with a half double crochet so we can end up on the center. Now from here on we're going to continue to decrease until we have three double crochet left at the next few rows. That means we always skip the first double crochet and the last. We're going to be building groups of three for the next few rows. So I'm coming back in with a single and two chain. We're going to repeat these rows like this until our motive has only three double crochets. So three double crochet group, one chain, always one chain space now between them. So our pattern can start closing in properly and building these groups, one chain, always skipping the first one going into the second. We're going to repeat this for the next few rows to do the, the decrease Oops, and I'm supposed to be grabbing back loops, but you can use front loops only, or not front loops, both loops if you'd like. So let's do that again. Yeah, I guess sometimes it's just a habit we have, and when we change a bit, we get confused, right? So. So we don't do the first double crochet and we don't do the last. Coming directly after my one chain and doing my group of three double crochets. So I have two, four, six, eight, nine. Next row we'll have seven. Next row we'll have five. And then the row after that we have three. I will come back to you when we have three double crochets left. Exactly how we started here at the beginning. So it just keeps decreasing. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end when I have three double crochets left. Always one chain space between these groups of three. Skipping always the first double crochet and the last one. One chain, skip the first one, go into your second. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, row nine. I'll meet you when I have three double crochets left on the motive. Okay, everyone. So as I mentioned, I'd come back where I have three double crochets left on the motives and everything else is groups of three in the one chain space with one chain space between them. I've closed in here with the half double crochet as we've been doing. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to do one chain space and come in with a slip stitch this time. Uh, by the way, we are on, we did um, row 12 going to row 13. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is row 12 where we have the three double crochets. I'm going to come back in, single and double crochet, That's and uh, two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to still grab these back loops and do one double crochet per space and all of them, including in the one chain space. If you don't want to go in, you can go over. It's up to you if you've been doing over, then it's best to go over. If you've been doing like this, then it would look nicer to have it in one, uh, in the back loops only. Okay, so one double crochet per stitch all the way around. Coming in that one chain space, one double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. This is row 13. Okay, everyone, so now we're going, so I've done row 13, I should start by there, and I've cut in my thread. I'm going to come back in with the white, but we're starting to add the flowers on as we go. Now, I've done this technique already in a few other patterns of mine. Some of you know, instead of keep cutting, uh, adding flowers and keep cutting the thread, we continue. So you're going to turn your pattern. By the way, I've already pressed my pattern and um, sprayed and stretched it out so it can be stretched out already for um, the attachment of the flowers. So I'm going to do the shells, of course, on each corner, but this shell I'm only going to do, I'll complete it when I come around. So single two chain and two more double crochet. I'm only going to complete this shell, my corner, when I'm done with my row. One chain space. <clears throat> I'm coming in and doing three double crochets, one chain space into the next one. One chain. I'm on my second corner. I'm going to do one chain. Okay. We're going to use back with back. And I'm going to come in right in the center where I have this mode of this double crochet here. Okay. And I'm going to do a single. So one chain and single that would represent like the two chains that normally we do on the uh, shells, right? So I'm coming in, completing my three double crochet. I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to skip one, two, on the third space, I'm doing a single and coming in to do my three double crochets. Okay, sorry, there is no chain space here. So once you create your shell, because the single is already a chain space. So we're going to skip one, two into the third and single. This is like doing that one chain space. Then coming into the front and create the three double crochets for the square. And again, skipping one, two, on the third one, this is back with back, coming in, complete again the other three double crochets, and again, <clears throat> one, two, on your third one, single, and we're going to do the corner, which we're going to attach also. So we're doing the three double crochet, one chain. Skip one, two on the third one, single. So that's like doing already 
the two chain for the shell coming back in and doing the three double crochets one chain coming in complete the side here and we're going to attach the next flower when we get to the corner here of the shell one chain space one chain space again and here we're only doing the three double crochets on this corner of the shell because once we add all the flowers and we come around this is how we're going to complete uh, the next one okay so we're going to do our pattern this way so you're going to have I'm going to do one chain coming in and creating only three double crochets on this uh, square also. We are only going to complete it when we come around to it. Okay, so basically we're, going, we're not doing no chain space because we're coming in and that would represent one chain space already with a single coming into the next one and create your three double crochets into the flower where we have that one chain space and again single come into the front flower and create your three double crochets a lot of you have seen me create this uh, attachment into the last space here and into the corner. So into the corner, three double crochet. I'm going to do a single inside of the other shell from the other uh, square. And again, a single on the same attachment we did the first square, okay? Coming back in, complete your shell, your corner, with three double crochet. Coming into the pattern again, we're going to skip one, two, on your third one, single into the front once you get the hang of it you'll find it very easy to do skip again one two into the third one that's why it's important to create the flowers before so you can attach them when you're ready to continue on okay one two into the third one coming into the shell one two and three one chain i'm going to skip one two doing my single coming back in to complete the shell Three double crochet one chain create your three double crochets one chain and again don't forget we're gonna attach the third flower so we're creating the fourth corner only three the shell here three double crochet only because we're attaching and one chain coming in on the right side here and doing the three double crochets And then coming directly into the back, into the first loop here of one chain, single, into the 
into the next one. We'll complete those uh, shells only when we come around and complete all of the squares in. So into the backward single, into the front. One, two, three. Into the corner shell. Do your three double crochets. You're going to do your single and a two chain, chain loop where we have the shell, and a single again where we've attached that flower. Come back, complete your three double crochet in the shell, that corner. one chain, three double crochets. So we're going to do this all the way around the same way with all the 16 flowers. If you need to slow down the video in the link, uh, in the description box, there's a link how to slow it down if you don't know how, or just rewind, pause, rewind, pause, and and you take it from there. So I'm at the, oops, made a mistake. I have to add this on here. I get so distracted when I'm talking. How fun is that, right? Okay, so we've created the shell. Skip one, two on the third one. Then come to the front. That's what happens when I'm blah, blah away. I lose concentration. And again, one, one, two on my third one, and into the front and attach the flowers. One, two on my third one and into the corner create only oh, the three double crochet and we're going to do one chain one two on the third one come back in complete your shell one chain and then when you get to the fourth corner shell which is coming up top that's when you add your next flower so basically this is what it's going to look like all the way around with your flower and when we're done we're going to complete the granny square the rest of the edging okay so i'll meet you once i am done if you need to rewind go ahead take your time with it and you'll enjoy creating these beautiful pieces okay so i'll meet you at the end of mine okay everyone i'm on my last square i'm at the corner I'm going to do my one chain and I'm going to skip one, two on my third one. And I come back in and do my. So I'm completing my three double crochet. So I have one, two. I'm going to come in. And I'm going to come in directly into that first space. And then continue to do 
your three double crochets. into the back and into the corner now because this was the last one we're not going to attach it on here we'll only complete this one once we come around to it we're going to continue to work from here on So, did my three double crochets, my two chain, and continue three double crochets. Now here on the edge, we're not doing one chain, we're doing two chain space. Continue to complete your square with three double crochets, Oops. two chain, and again, three double crochet, two chain. We're going to complete that shell. One, two, and three. I'm going to do one chain and I'm coming in with single and coming in directly into the next shell and this is how we are going to close it up okay two chain and continue so I'll show you one more time we'll have to do this all the way around the same way Three double crochet, two chain space, and three more double crochet. We're getting into the shell, so two chain, coming into the shell, complete your three double crochets, one chain, I'm coming directly on my third one here, I'm going to grab both with single and directly into the next one okay so simple as that and of course we will complete when we get to the edge and that's what it looks like don't forget once it's stretched out with spray and we're gonna stretch it it all falls into place okay so I'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, so I've reached the end. I've done my three double crochets where we have that last one. I'm going to do a half double crochet, but I'm not going to close it yet. And I'm also going to come in the center of this next one here, pull my thread, and pull everything right through it, okay? So that leaves me in the center basically on here. I'm going to go up one, two chain. With that, almost like single, let's say that half that we did, I'm going to do another double crochet here. Chain two. I'm going to skip these two and come into the next one and create two double crochets in the same space. Mind to tell you that if you wanted to leave your pattern just like this, perfect. You can leave it just this way. You can block it, have it all nicely stretched out, and it makes a beautiful centerpiece as it is. Or you could have just closed with singles all the way around, and you have one specific pattern done. You don't have to continue from here, okay? Two chain. I'm going to come on this first double crochet here. I'm building groups of two double crochet. I need seven per square, per granny square, okay? So, two chain, and I'm going to come in with 
And then come into the center and create two double crochets, chain two. I'm going to come on this last one here and create two double crochet, two more chain, and then come in the first one here. And it will be repeatedly like this all the way around to chain and then coming into the center here where I did my single so we have one two three four five six seven we'll repeat the same thing exactly what we've done here so chain two we had placed it on the last double crochet with two double crochets and then you just see where you've placed the other one this way you're sure not to make a mistake you gotta have those seven that's including the, the um, middle one here okay and then we went in so we're here and then we went in so all you have to do is just a repeat and I'll meet you at the end Okay, everyone, so pretty much did my last two chain. I've closed in on that first double crochet that we came in. I'm going to cut my thread. We have to start working the crocodile stitching. So I'm going to cut this and I'm just going to tuck it in through these loops here. We can't um, keep going with this thread because we need to do the crocodile stitch lying down in between these two uh, the, the double crochets will be working in them okay so we need to make things easier for us and I'm just gonna tuck in as much as I can so now I'm gonna cut this thread okay and remembering what I told you it's always seven groups of course always adding with the same one so one two three four five six seven and then one two three four five six seven okay and that's the way it goes i love this pattern it's absolutely gorgeous okay so first thing we're going to do is that slip stitch knot give it a bit of thread there and I'm going to come in and do, I'm going to come in right through here and pull this right through it. So on the bottom, I'll show you once I pull my thread through it. Maybe if I can get it to. Okay, so we have the middle one, the middle group. We're not working on there. We're going to work on this one. I'm going to come through here and come out in the center. I'm going to pull my thread in through there and do a slip stitch like that, okay? Now, I'm going to work on this double crochet here. What are we going to do? We're going to turn a bit our pattern. trying to get this little thread out of the way we're going to come in between both double crochets of those groups and come out on the outside right we're going to work on that double crochet where's my my thread there from from when i hooked okay so we have the first double crochet sideways we're going to do five total we have to work on the side. So it's always best that you turn your pattern a bit to make sure don't get any other stitch except for this side stitch there. Okay. So two, three, four, and five. Okay. So make sure you're not grabbing anything 
on the back or anything like that. We're working, let's say, on this double crochet. So we're doing it sideways. That's what we're doing here. Okay. Okay, we're going to do one chain stitch and it's best that you keep turning your pattern when you're working these double crochets because we'll be working in them. Turn your pattern and bend it if you have to and now we're working on this double crochet of the group and we're going to do five double crochets. So I have three, four, and five. So we have our first crocodile stitch okay and then we're going to come directly into this first one here and we're going from the bottom okay so again in between them bring your thread over and do a single so it can be attached onto there no chain space again it's best that you turn and we're going to work on the next group which is this one here so you would come in the center and out on the side so we're working sideways and doing those five double crochets again it's a bit of work and it's a little bit challenging but once you get the hang of it you're good to go so we have to do this all the way around the same way two four and five one chain turn your pattern it always makes it easier now we're going to work on the next double crochet bend it if you have to it helps to work that double crochet sideways and do your five double crochets again so three four and five so we have our second crocodile stitch coming into the next one we're coming in from the bottom to the center and doing a single and again repeat everything working on this first double crochet so we have to go into the center and out on the side bend your pattern a bit it's going to help you work it make sure you don't grab anything else but that double crochet two, three, four, and five, if I can get to it, right? Also, my hands are stretched out. It's kind of hard for me to stitch at the same time. One chain space, and now we're going to work on this one here. So, one, two, three, four, and five. So we have our third crocodile stitch, okay? Again, coming in the center here on the next group. So we're always skipping a group, but what I mean skipping is by doing a single okay and then into the next one again and work five double crochets one chain five double crochets come inside of this one here from the bottom in do your single and this is how it's going to be all the way around okay so i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so i've reached my last one I'm going to pull this string, I'm going to come where we started with that first single, remember the very first single, and I'm going to pull the string to the back. I'm going to cut my thread here, and I'm going to lock in my, my string, which I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to go right through the center of that loop, the thread that we just brought it to the back, and close it up well. And then just tuck in your thread back here, because we have to start again exactly what we did, the groups of two. We're going to create again another row 
of groups of two double crochets. I'm just tucking in because we, we are going to cover these threads back here after. So on this next row, like I said, we need to create groups of two again, exactly how we did. So I'll slip stitch knot. You can come behind any of them. So I'm just going to start anywhere. So where we have the double crochets groups, we're going to do exactly what we did. So I'm going to do a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. And my second double crochet. I'm trying to find that thread. <coughs> two chain space. Now right behind it where we have that um, single here, I mean so easy to get on there and do two double crochet in the same space. So we're creating these groups all the way around exactly how we did with the bottom one. Two chain space and two more double crochets in the same oops not the same we have one double crochet and another double crochet okay two chain and we're behind the crocodile stitch we have that single there create your two double crochets so very simple nothing to it just creating group over groups, exactly how we had it done. And where we have the crocodile stitch, we have a single. We just create two double crochet and two chain space between them. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay. Okay. So now that we finished all the groups, we have to do the crocodile stitch this time in between the crocodile stitch. So what does that mean? That means after we've cut and tucked away our thread, we come in where we have that crocodile stitch in between and do our first single. Okay, because we need to work on the next one, the crocodile stitch. Okay, and then come directly into that double crochet and we're going to repeat everything all over again trying to hide this little thread if I could. If I couldn't, then I would have done it at the end. It makes it a little bit harder when you're working in a tight area like this, especially working this side. I find it's a little bit hard, but you know, everything is possible. So I have four double crochets, creating my fifth. One chain, I'm so used to doing the two chain and going into the next and creating five double crochets. Three, four, and five. So basically we're just repeating everything all over again. We're coming behind that one again where the crocodile is. Crocodile stitch, not the crocodile. Okay, so basically we're coming in between them now. We'll be creating in between them okay and then again going into the next group doing the side five double crochets so two three four and five one chain and now work on the next one which makes it way much more easier especially if you turn your pattern now if you wanted to go bigger i'm only doing these two rows 
If you wanted to go bigger, you could have continued to do more rows of this crocodile stitch. So coming in between, single. Okay, and this is pretty much what it looks like. So continue yours and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished. I'm going to come in where we first started. Slip stitch. Got my thread. Just tuck it in, in the back anywhere. So now we are going to be doing shells. So where we have the two chain, right behind the crocodile stitch, do a single, and two chain. I'm coming directly into the other two chain here, skipping the two double crochets. One, two, and three double crochet, two chain, three more double crochet. Coming directly into the next two chain, one double crochet, skipping the two double crochets, and doing the shell again. We're going to do this all the way around the same way, only working on the two chain. So this is what it looks like. So we started with single two chain, the shell in the two chain space directly into the other two chain space with double crochet. So it's always shell, double crochet, shell, double crochet, working only on the two chain. The same way all the way around. I'll meet you at the end.